Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. This is Robbie and Mike here. Um, these are all of the new Infinity models that have been released in the past few months. Um, Corvus Belli sent these to us and uh, we had them all painted up to a level uh, four and five. So they're done really nicely. Um, we're gonna take a look at them and kinda talk about them a little bit. I actually have no idea what most of them do, so we probably won't talk about them, except that they look pretty. <laughs> we can talk about the ones we know. We had just played a battle report with these two guys, the Yaoji, <laughs> I don't even know, <laughs> the Lu Duan. The Eugene Remotes. Yeah. I want to look at their names, they're right there. Um, <laughs> these guys are awesome. They've, uh, they've got great weapons and the models just look awesome. The colors, everything about them is just cool. I really like the remotes. They remind me of like little bugs or something, just from Starship Troopers. Um, I need some of those. I want more. A whole army of those? What would that be like? Man, that'd be awesome. Take a few t uh, hackers and then a whole bunch of tags and, well, like a tag <laughs> and a whole bunch of remotes. Yeah. This next guy here is the, uh, he's one of the new Spec Ops guy. The Gi Fang. Gi Fang Skep. Spec Ops. He's got a cool helmet or head. I like that. Yeah, I like his armor. He's got the heavy armor and stuff, and he's not fully armored up. He's got bags and stuff on him. He just looks awesome. Has a lot of character to it. Oh, yeah. He's got a knife just, and a pistol and stuff. Yeah, but awesome. I was using him in our last battle report as, a, as an invincible. The next guy here is a Yuan Yuan. He is, this one is a uh, battle foam exclusive miniature. So anytime you order a battle foam bag, the infinity ones, you get this uh, Yuan Yuan guy with them and he's pretty cool. He's a mercenary and so almost everyone can take him and he's got a uh, combat jump and just cool weapons and stuff. The next guy. The dog warrior, McMurrow. Yeah. I don't know how to say his first name. It's spelled Tearlock, but I think it's like Charles. <laughs> Like, that's what it comes out as. Yeah, now he's the Ariadna tag equivalent. He's, uh, like, twice as big as a normal guy. But he's, he's not from, or he's not part of the Ariadna list. He's just a mercenary. Yeah, so anyone can take him, but the um, Ariadna does have the dog warriors like this. Mm -hmm. And they are pretty cool. Stay tuned, and we'll play another battle report featuring them. These uh, next two guys here are both spec ops. One for combined army, and one for... Uh, Pan Oceania. The Trey Talk and is it a Trey Talk? Yeah, the Trey Talk and the Indigo Spec yeah, Ops. He's got this awesome axe. My favorite thing about the Spec Ops is that they've got like pouches and bags and stuff and they just look awesome. They look like Spec Ops, like yeah. scouts and stuff. They're regular guys that have been tooled up and have just extra pouches and bags and they're in different poses and things. They look really awesome. And they all come with different uh, options, different head options and stuff. And different weapons and things for yeah. some of them. Which would be very useful for conversions. I have big plans for some of those. Yep. Let me take a look at all the spec ops real quick. Here's the ones for... Uh, the Chandra for Aleph. Aleph. Hussam. Uh, Hawk uh, Islam. Hawk Islam. And, uh, and <laughs> the Intel spec ops for Ariadna. <laughs> And oh, the, so many uh, new releases. <laughs> I can't keep the name straight. The one on the end over here with the red and white is the Nomads. The, the Vortex, Vortex right? Spec Ops, yeah. yeah. I mean, all of them, there's so much character to it. This guy's got this cool cloak and mask and stuff, and his helmet. Just the one little eye in the middle. I don't know. I love all of them. Even if I didn't play all their armies, I, I still kind of want one from each. Oh, yeah. Just because they're such nice looking. I think the, uh, the Vortex... Is probably my favorite. Yeah, he's pretty cool. So then a couple other releases. This is the uh, Aleph Heavy Ectra Infantry Moy. guy. It's I think it's cool an looking. yeah Ectra Moy. However you say that, <laughs> he's got these like wing things, some kind of jet pack on the back. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah, it's awesome. And the last one is the Knight of the Holy Sepulchre. Uh oh, sneeze. <coughs> uh, this guy's awesome looking. His cloak, the way it just billows out around him. Yeah, it's really cool looking. Know. Just awesome. Kind he's got heads his... as he swings his sword around. <laughs> he's got the uh, Spitfire. 
on there, and we just played a game with him, and he's pretty good. He's got lots of uh, cool special options and special weapons and abilities and stuff. That pose, I, in my brain, I see like a Jedi standing on top of something, and his like the Jedi cape billowing out around him. Like, what, yeah. What part is that from? It's some part on Star Wars. Um. I don't know. I don't know who it is. If it's Obi Wan. It's or, like up on top of a walker or something. Uh, I don't remember. It's Obi Wan or Anakin. Somebody will know. Yeah. Anyways, I the poses of these are just spectacular. I love them. Always loved Infinity Miniatures from years ago when I didn't play the game and I just had a few of the miniatures. Um, now that I play the game, I'm addicted, and I just <laughs> I need to have my Infinity fix once a month. Once a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or like that. All right, awesome. Thanks for watching. These are all the new Infinity uh, miniatures. You got to go check them out and uh, if, get your own. Yeah, if you want any of these, um, send us an email and we'll get yours painted up as soon as possible.